one day, the fat controller arrived at Tinmuth Sheds to tell a special job. The cement manager needs supplies for a new building and place. He needs Patrick to bring some cement and mix it. George, along with brick with iron. And it has to be brought very soon, so I don't want some fuss. I've arrived here to see who could pull the train. Henry then replied, I don't really have much work after all. Nonsense, Henry. You have that fish train you always bowl. Besides, I could do it faster, right, sir? Sir Topham Hatt was too much busy to argue, so he chose Gordon. I told you, Henry. When Gordon left, Thomas tried to cheer Henry up. Never mind, Henry. We already know you're big and strong. You could bowl ten trucks of sand, implied Percy. You're not helping, Henry suggested. You can fill twenty trucks of coal. How would you know? You never even pull trucks. That's barely anything, replied Duck. He can pull fifty trucks of iron. My goodness, you just went from zero to a hundred. Henry was confused and didn't know what to feel. As Gordon was going on, the weight of the train clearly started to show. When Patrick and George were collected, Gordon was feeling the weight of his own wheels. Patrick spoke. Shouldn't you have taken the train with it? Of another engine, hmm? No, I don't need anybody else. I will arrive there before I break down. I kind of doubt that. Ah, oh, bollocks! I knew I should have taken the road. You're slower than a turtle. We wouldn't even finish the work. Come on, let's get moving, Gordon shouted. And wheel turn by wheel turn, he tried to pull the heavy train. And a three, and a two, and a... <laughs> I can't, I can't. Uh, no wonder they decided to refix y'all. You're weak and you're pathetic. You can't pull anything straight. George grumbled more as Gordon felt exhausted. Then Henry came by. Now I understand why you don't like pulling goods trains, Gordon. Speaking of it, I'm sorry of making you not pull the train. Ah, uh, I just wanted to pull a train for oh. I don't usually do, but this one was special, and I wanted to pull it. Can you please help pull the train, Henry? I'll give it a hard try. Henry was at the front, and Gordon at the back, and so they were ready to pull the train. And as hard as they could, Henry and Gordon pulled the train with a puff and a huff. It was heavy and hard to go fast, but they still managed to pull the train. The trucks even stopped, causing trouble. And slowly but surely, they managed to arrive at the station safely. Henry and Gordon were both exhausted. With the men cheering, there was only one who wasn't happy. You could have been here on time, 
Fergus told. Gordon and Henry gave glares, telling Fergus to shut up. And with the looks of disgust, Fergus decided to stop talking. You know, Henry, when we work as a team, we do fantastic. You go far, and I go fast. Henry smiled and agreed.